well, and results of a post-mortem examination conducted on the body of the late NTV output producer, Rita Tindina, indicated she died of severe pneumonia. The autopsy, witnessed by family and friends from the media fraternity, was conducted by both government and family pathologists as family expressed contentment with the results. Here is Ruth Samway with the details. As condolence messages celebrating the life of Rita Tinina, who died on Sunday, continue to pour in, family and friends gathered at Omash Funeral Home to witness Rita's postmortem examination conducted by government pathologist Peter Degwa in the presence of family pathologist Dr. Mishaka. I've been told that uh, the late uh, Rita died of severe pneumonia. Satisfied with the results, we are closed uh, that uh, question. Through the family spokesperson, Rita's kin asked for privacy and space as they continue to mourn their loved one. Even as uh, you know, we go into the news, we go to it with decorum, with respect, and uh, remembering that uh, there is a family that is has emotions and can get affected by some of the some of the things. It is the second time in close to two decades that residents here. Are Rita was found dead on the 17th of March in her house in Kileleshwa after she failed to report to work. At the time of her demise, the 46-year-old was the output producer at NTV. Kenyans continue to celebrate Rita's journalism prowess through the work she did in the over 20 years she served in the media industry. And with the burial preparations underway, family and friends are holding daily meetings at the All Saints Cathedral from 5 p.m. Ruth Sarmoy, NTV.